I'm live. Yes, I'm live. Don't come on live to do supper. And here I am. So let's get this party started. Okay. All right. I've got a bowl here to, to put my flour in for my steaks. I've got the steaks here. And I have already pre tenderized steaks to use. I've got my potatoes peeled in, in a pan. I've got my green beans in a pan. And I just need seasoning. So this is, uh, I'll show you how I do that in just a second. First, we're going to get the shortening in here and get this pan heated up. So, and I use a lot of shortening. So, about like that. And let's get that turned on. And get it warmed up. And while that's warming up, and I'm going to leave this out a minute because I may need a little bit more. And let me turn you down and show you my pan here for my bowl. Okay. In this bowl, I'm going to put There's my scoop. I'm going to put probably a half a cup of flour in it and then along with that I am going to put a half a cup hello whoever's in here hello hello <laughs> I'm going to put a half a cup of potato flakes. That's my secret to crunchy, good crust on your stuff. So, hi Denina, how are you honey? So to that then now that we've got those in there, I've got shortening on my thing. Give me a paper towel here and wipe that off. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt, maybe just a little more. That's that's pretty close to a teaspoon right there. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to put some fresh uh, ground pepper. So I can get the lid off of it here. Come on. I'm trying to take the bottom off of it. Okay. And I like a lot of pepper. So we're going pretty heavy on it. And hello to everybody that just came in. I'm making chicken fried steak tonight for our supper. And in this pan, if you just came in, I have flour, potato flakes, salt and pepper. I have shortening heating up in the skillet over here and we're going to start dredging this flour into our steak. And as soon as that gets really hot, we're going to start putting these in. I didn't see who that was. Is that was that Kathleen? <laughs> I can do Hello Kathleen. Uh, well I am too. It's a little late to get started, but my video hung up in the quay today and would not finish uploading and I finally got it to go. But it took four or five hours for me to get it uploaded. So that was a pain. I'm getting flour all over everywhere. <laughs> okay. 
let's see if this is ready to go. And I've seen this little trick about checking your skillet. If you put a wooden spoon in it, if it bubbles around the wooden spoon, it's getting good and hot. And I'm going to move you over a little bit so you can see these go in the skillet. Let me move that just a little. Ooh, don't put it in the flour, Mary. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to put my spoon down there. Can you see the bubbles coming around the wooden spoon? That's how you can tell that your skillet's nice and hot. And it is bubbling. So, we're going to start laying these in the skillet. Oh, a nice sizzle. And I'm going to reach over here and turn my potatoes on at the same time on a medium heat. them. We're going to let them cook a minute and then put the other two in. And I'm not going to turn them till I see that they are browning up. And I have it down now on a medium heat. My potatoes are on a medium heat. They could probably come up just a little bit. And I'm going to hold my hand so we can season our beans. Okay, you get hot water in next thing to soak. Now this is just canned green beans to it my green beans and I'll pull them off and pull them up here. Well, maybe you can see them. Uh, back up a little. Okay. I'm going to add, because this was a large can of green beans, I'm going to add two beef bouillon cubes. <coughs> There's one. Sometimes these are hard to find the ends. And there's two. I'm just going to drop them down in there. And then I'm going to sprinkle some onion flakes over it. And these were a Weight Watcher recipe from way back. And they are really good. And this adds no extra fat to it. So gives it flavoring without adding calories. So put that back there and I'll turn it on. Okay, you can see my steaks are starting to shrink up a little bit now. So I can move them a little bit. I can find my home. Good. Yay. No sticking. Move them over a little and put the last two in. And that's one. Put it down just a little bit. This last one is kind of small, so I think we're going to be fine with it right here in the center. Now. I do with my flour. I don't throw this flour away. What I do is I bag it in a baggie, freezer bag, and I store it in the freezer for the next time I cook beef that I want to fry. And of course I will use some of it to make a little gravy. So I'll get this flour picked up here, and put it in the bag. And 
little bit left for my gravy. Yeah, about like that. So then I just bag it, roll it around itself, so it'll be you know can be stored in a small spot, and freeze it. And you're good to go with some seasoned flour for the next time out. Okay. So now we've got supper going. How's everybody tonight? I hope everybody's doing good. I've had a good day. I've cleaned and I washed my kitchen window and hung some new curtains. I've done some laundry. I've had a good day today. <laughs> and I know I didn't schedule this very long. Uh, this was, uh, so if anybody wants to share it to Facebook, I would really appreciate it. And you can share it to my timeline if you'd like to. So, I've got flour literally, literally all over me, which is not unusual. When I play in the flour, I get it everywhere. Back on that container. Get it out of the way. Okay, brush myself off a little. <laughs> you can see the flower. <laughs> I can get my coffee. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas because I've worked all day and I'm more comfortable in them than I am in anything else. So these look like they might be ready to turn. So we're going to flip them over. See that good golden brown? Get this one over. See that nice golden brown on them? It really browns well used in the uh, potato flakes. Hello, whoever just come in. <laughs> We've got Zephyr going. <clears throat> Chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans. So, we're going to be set for some leftovers tomorrow. We have a chicken fried steak sandwich. You're buffering? Oh my. I don't know if I'm... Is that better, hon? I took my Wi-Fi off. That might help it. Turn this down just a little bit. I don't want to fry too awful fast. Well, I'm be done in the center. Hello, Pamela. <laughs> well, I'm also having to run my cord because of my upload today. It, my power had gone way down on my phone. And that will cause it to do that a little bit, too. But uh, I promised this today. Didn't know it was going to take five hours to do an upload. Which was crazy. Just crazy. But it hung up in between my phone and YouTube. So, there I was. I couldn't get it to go. I, it was just, it said it was uploading, but it didn't have, it didn't change. It didn't have any time on it. And uh, so, and I'll tell you what I did. And if it, if you have that problem, if you ever want to upload something and it does that, you can turn on your Wi-Fi for a minute and then turn it back off. Wi-Fi is really slow to upload around here because I have such horrible upload speeds. And uh, so I don't use it to upload. And uh, and I'm saying that and that again that I said today I was not going to use anymore. 
But anyway, I don't use it here because of the upload speed. But it did help jar it back into uploading. Took a while to figure it out. But. Oh, good. Hi, Jane. How are you, honey? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Ooh, I'm going to have to open the door because it's getting hot in here. I'm putting out some heat. <laughs> could I upload you one of those uh, tanks? I could. Uh, I don't know how good it would be. But I could do that. I could upload directly to you. <laughs> Okay, this one is ready to turn, I believe. That one's stuck just a little bit on the side. And here we go. This one is ready to turn. And those are not going to take long. That's the reason I started everything all at one time. So that we can get this to go with. Oh, that's ready to come out. Turn that in just a little bit. Don't want this one to stick and it wants to. Don't want to pull my crust off. Oh, it did a little bit. That happens sometimes. Okay. We're going to put it because some of them are already ready to take up. It doesn't take long to cook steak. So, I've got a plate here. This one, I'm going to take up is this one. And then this one. I'm wanting to stick over there. And I'm not liking it. See, I've lost my crust. Oh, I hate that. That's going to make some good gravy. Okay, we're going to let that go for just a minute because it took the crust off. I uh, thought I had it preheated enough, but could have maybe let it run a little bit longer. And like I said, when we put the flour in there and go to making gravy, that's going to make some good gravy. So, potatoes are boiling. The green beans are going good. Got a good boil on them now. Get those down in the water. And I don't drain them. I just pour the can in there and put the bouillon cubes and the onion right in it and let it boil. That's a small burner back there. So as soon as these are done, I will pull that forward. Okay. Let's take that one up. It browned up pretty good on that. So. This one, I would like for that spot to brown just a little bit more. So I'm going to hold it down right there. I love chicken fried steak, especially this new gravy. And I could roll this in some milk and re-wet it and done all that stuff, but I'm I'm trying to do this fairly quickly tonight. Um, I know I put it on a live stream because I said I would, but I am trying to do this fairly quickly tonight. And I am so thrilled that, you know, it's been a long time since I've done one, so just to have four or five people in here is fantastic. I'm tickled. And the next time I will schedule a live. And uh, I can do that now through my community tab. And okay, steak is done. So we're going to turn that off for just a little bit till we get this uh, these green beans going better. And I'm going to pull them forward to do that. So I'm going to set this over. Pull this one forward. Put that in the center. 
I like this burner up. And we're going to get those to boiling good right there. Check my potatoes, see if they're soft. And I done a light cube on them. I did a small cube. And my potatoes were taking a, sec a second growth on them. So they needed to be used. I could plant them. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to come over here while those are boiling because they're not soft yet. Put a lid on those potatoes. Put lid down here in that pan. Yep, wrong one. Yep, wrong one. That goes on this one. And that goes on this one. Okay. Now. I'm going to slide you back just a little bit, and I'm going to cut up one of these steaks for you. Let me pull you back. To where you can see them. I'm going to get my knife here. She used in the potatoes. I'm gonna lay one right here. I'm all good, Tom. He's been playing a game. <laughs> He's coming to show me. Okay, there's our steak, fully cooked, ready to go. And I'm going to slide this plate up in the microwave to keep it warm. All right. Yes, honey, I see that. It's great. <laughs> oh, I am warm, kids. Really warm. Uh, okay. We're cooking good here. Deep full yawn has uh, dissolved. Get you back up here. I have to move you back and forth. Hope you understand. So I've got a small area here that I cook on. Uh, but anyway, our green beans are looking really good and they don't have to cook a long time. But you want to let that onion get uh, nice and soft in them. So now we can push this back again to this back burner and put it on a low temp. Come on. Get it on low here and just let them set and simmer. And I'm going to start the gravy. So the first thing I've got to do is get rid of a little bit of grease. I have too much here. So, I'm, I keep my grease in a jar. Oh, hi, Amy. No, you haven't missed it. I did get the steaks done, and uh, they're in the microwave. Hi, honey. They're in the microwave, and how I fixed them was with flour, potato flakes, salt, and cracked pepper. And uh, I have my potatoes on to boil, and they are boiling well now. Green beans on the back burner, just about done, and I'm fixing to make the gravy. So, I keep my used oil in a jar, and what I do, and I don't want to lose any of these cracklings in here, so what I do is I take my strainer, put it over the top of the jar, and this is a small jar, so it may be a little hard to pour, up my skillet and I'm going to pour that right into that jar leaving about that much that's going to make my gravy so 
And we've got some good cracklings in there that are going to be really, really good. I'm going to set that back on that to drain because it's making a mess all over my cabinet. I made a mess all over my cabinet. It's not doing it. Okay. Put that in the sink. And we're ready to start the gravy. And for this, I'm going to use this metal spoon that I've been messing with the uh, green beans with. And I'm going to scrape all those cracklings up and get them loose from the bottom of the pan. I'm going to pour my flour in. Start cooking my flour in the gravy or in that grease. And we're going to have us some steak gravy here in just a minute. I'm going to resalt it just a little bit. Put that up on the second shelf. Put a little bit more salt in it. Rest of it down in that pan. You've never made gravy from scratch? Well, you watch, honey, because I'm going to show you how to do it. Right here. You want to cook your flour. You don't want any raw tasting flour in it. So you want to cook your flour and brown it just a little while. And then I use canned milk in my gravy. You can use whole milk. You can use 2% milk. You can use what you want. But we're going to put some milk in it. And so I'm going to get my gravy bowl. Or gravy bowl. Here. Where is my yellow gravy bowl? Where has it been put? Good question. Okay. Oh, excuse me, I just bumped the cabinet. It did not feel good. Okay, here's my gravy bowl. And I have this on just medium, but it is about ready for the... I don't want to burn it, so it's about ready for the milk. Okay, I'm going to pour it about half this can of milk. I'm going to leave a little back for our potatoes in that bowl. I'm going to add some water. Okay. And this is about to break brown out. Burn up. I've got to get it in here. So I'm going to pour it right in this hot skillet and I'm going to go to stir it. Just like that. Just like that. And you keep that stuff going until it gets starts to thicken. We may have to add a little bit more water. But uh, I do use canned milk a lot. And especially right now because I don't want to deplete my stores. And I have a lot of canned milk in the cabinet. So we're going to... Uh, Stir this up. Green beans are done. Turn them off. We're going to let this come to a boil. And it's nicely, it's starting to nicely boil. And it is going to probably take a little bit more water. And I'm not going to worry about it until we get it thickened up. And this will thicken. That flour will thicken it. And look at all that yummy goodness in there. It's got all the cracklings off the meat. Hi, Michelle. 
I know I've missed some, but I'm and I'm sorry, but I'm on my phone, so I can only see just a couple at a time. And then I can't, I don't really want to take my eyes off my skillet, other than to check my potatoes. And we'll just let this cook down a minute and stir it occasionally until it thickens up. Check these potatoes. And they are soft and they're ready to start. I didn't see who that was. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I've got the camera turned down and it's really hard to, to see. Okay, we're going to strain these potatoes and I strain them in a colander. Use my old colander like this and I'm going to strain them right in the sink. And I'm going to put them back in the pan real quick and take but a second. I'm going to take this spoon and I'm going to put a glob of butter in them. And I do mean a glob because I like my butter in them. <laughs> yes, it is. That was uh, Herb's mother's. That needs to be stirred. Oh, it's thickening up nicely. Thickening up nicely. We can turn that burner off and I'm ready because it is hot in here. Okay, I'm going to mash my potatoes, set them down here. Let's see, put you back a little bit more so you can see them. Maybe like that. I got my hand. I'm going to add about that much salt, probably about a half a teaspoon of salt to them. And just some regular pepper in them. Stir my gravy again. I do not want it to brown. Any more? Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm turning the heat off of it now, and we're going to let it set there and let it get thicker as it sets. And I'm going to put my milk in my potatoes, and I just use straight canned milk in them. And this was like four potatoes. So... I really like to use a hand mixer, but my hand mixer bit the dust. It decided it did not want to go any longer. <coughs> I have a big stand mixer that my sister got me that I absolutely love. She got it to me, give it to me for Christmas. And it's beautiful, KitchenAid. Oops, and I'll be using it when I make bread. And I'm going to go live to make bread. And yes, I will be using it. Now, I will show you that you can mix them up by hand, but I will be using it to mix my dough. But these, the, the bread I'm going to make is uh, a quick bread. It's a Jiffy Roll recipe. Uh, it's not a Jiffy Roll out of the box recipe, but it is a one rise bread. And, uh, well, one and then a little some. Uh, about 15 minutes or so before you put it in the oven. You let it rise, let it sit and come up a little. Okay, those are still a little thick to me. So now I'm out of milk in the can. I'm going to add a little bit of my milk on the fridge. Lighten them up just a little bit. And start stirring that in. 
Here we go. Gosh, I could have almost done this on a video. I'm making good time here. <laughs> I'm making good time. Now, Tom and I have a couple of rolls for tonight uh, that was brought to us. So, uh, you know, I didn't worry about bread tonight, but we like to eat bread with our, our meals. So I will pop them in the microwave and add a little butter to them, and they'll be good as new. And today, if you hadn't seen it, I made cookies, and they turned out beautifully. I made some cake mix cookies with yellow cake mix and uh, lemon else. So we have a little dessert. Okay. Now I'm going to taste these, see if I've got them seasoned like I like them. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Got them. I got a good scald on them, as my mama would say. And here's our gravy. And kids, I'm ready to plate up. Can you believe that? That it's already done? So, we're going to get us a couple plates. And I'm going to plate this up. Yeah, it's fast. It's it doesn't take long to make. It really doesn't. Uh, I hesitated to come on this evening because I'm just pretty worn. Uh, I have been all day cleaning. And, okay. Let me get a scoop for my taters here. My taters. <laughs> That's a little hillbilly. Put some potatoes in there. Make a little dip in them so we can put our gravy on them. Now, Tom's, I have to cut up, so I'm going to go ahead and start his plate and cut the meat up. He uh, has never been able to get the cut up part of things. He can use a fork and mash. But I don't want to mash your steak all up. So I'm going to cut this up. And then slide it over next to those potatoes. And fix his plate. And then I'll dip mine and show you it. Because I don't have to cut it up. <laughs> but I always fix Tom's first. He's my baby. <laughs> Even though he's almost, he is full grown, he's still my baby. Okay, we're going to slide this over. Pick that up, put it right there. And we're going to scoop out this gravy. We're going to put some in the potatoes. Yum. And we're going to put some right over the meat. And then... I've got to get my other slotted spoon out. Let's get one over here. And wipe my brow. <laughs> because I am warm. <laughs> okay. And we're going to dip some green beans up. And oh, I wish you could smell those green beans. They do smell so good. And there's Tom's plate this supper plate and I'll get out the rolls and warm them up just a tad a couple of them about 15 seconds and go ahead and start dipping my plate I'll set Tom's over behind me And some 
of meat. So lay that together. I know gravy is not on my diet. <laughs> it is not on a diabetic diet. That. There we go. <laughs> and in 40 minutes, we got a full meal fixed. Maybe just a little over 40 because I did prep the potatoes and open the beans. So nobody had to wait for that. But that was all that was done. So, put a little butter on these rolls. Mm -mm. Two buttered rolls to go on the plates. One on Tom's. And there's supper. All done. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll let this have to talk to you a bit, although you're going to see a hot mama, although we got a glare there in that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, come on. Yes, it's a, it really works great, and it works fantastic on chicken, especially. Uh, let me wipe my head, and, and excuse the glare of the lamp, because this... Uh, these new lights that David put in here, I mean, it's a glare. It's like a sunburst. And I've got three of them unplugged. <laughs> so, I'm hot and I am in. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. Hi, Unique Crafts. Welcome. Didn't those cookies look good? They really tasted good. I needed to have actually put two eggs, but one did work for them. So if you're low on eggs, use one. A cake mix, uh, half a cup of oil, one or two eggs, whatever you've got. And in, right now, things are kind of hard to find sometimes. So if you've only got one, one is fine. The cake mixes are now coming in a 15.5 ounce. It'll still do what an 18 ounce box will do. So be sure and try them. I had never made them before. I've ate them a thousand times, but I had never made them before. And uh, so I just decided that today would be a good day to make some because we didn't have anything. And uh, are you getting your plate and your fork? <laughs> He's already going after his. <laughs> uh, honey, I'm using uh, chicken fried steak. I uh, bought it at the local market. It's already tenderized, but it's round steak tenderized. You can tenderize it at home, or you can, you know, have it tenderized there at the at the market. And uh, it doesn't take but a minute for them to tenderize it. But I do have a mallet that I could do it myself. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they, and they are tender. They cut beautifully. Um, I use my fork over here in the butter. But I don't mind a little butter in my steak. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. So anyway, let me cut that up. I've got the edges where it cooked. gets a little bit. But there's the steak. And it cuts real easy. I was kind of cutting across. The, you want to cut across the grain and not with the grain. And uh, I was cutting across the grain to start that. So. Mm. Mm hmm. Good. The beans are lovely. And oh, girls, it was tasting greatly. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I am going to say good night now and go in and shut down for a while. I've got. Uh, Curtains in the washer that I still have to dry. But other than that, I'm done. And I will be back live very soon. I just found out today that I could go live on my phone again. Woohoo! So, come and join me for the next meal. 
and uh, we'll just have a good time. And I do want to make bread, and it takes about an hour and a half to make this bread, so it's going to be a little longer strength because I want it to be able to rise and to do its thing and show you how to make the rolls or show you how to make a loaf. So I will talk to you then. Good night. Oh, which end do I use to stop? <laughs> bye bye, honey. Love you. Okay. Uh, finish.